Hello everybody and welcome back to Baldur's Gate 3 where today we can finally, hopefully, meet my wife. My wife! Oh my gosh. All my cords are messed up. Everything's all over the place. I'm just I'm so flustered. So flustered. But first we have to loot everything. Hmm, I'll take that. Breathe deep and move. Oh, I also gotta wake up all these people. <laughs> all my companions. <laughs> Open letter on oppression and peacocks. Baldur's Bash is printed in bright, bold letters on the front cover, followed by many exclamation marks. The copy is focused on letters to the editor. I am definitely gonna read this. Written in a furious sloping hand, this is a letter to the editor of the Baldur's Bash, a tabloid notorious for its controversial articles. Dear editor, I find it despicable, nay, diabolical, that you would defend Baldur's Gate's ridiculous restrictions regarding animals in the city. No animal larger than a peacock may gain entry. How archaic. My darling Giselle is the most well-behaved bear you'll ever meet. And yet, to spend time with my child, I must visit my summer home in Cormier. I call upon the Parliament of Peers to resolve this issue immediately. The emotional and psychological well-being of the people of Baldur's Gate is at stake. Yeah, it is. <laughs> and I shall take this to the highest authority should it not be dealt with accordingly. Right now, Giselle cries out for her father. This archaic policy has separated a child from their parent. I don't know how Grand Duke Older Revingard lives with himself. Yours faithfully, Mr. R. Pickens. Okay. <laughs> Unfortunate, that person looks like they were eaten. Let's have a look. Let's have a look. What's that up there? A wheelbarrow? I don't want a wheelbarrow. It looked like a chest. Something good here, I hope. There's just, there's just blood everywhere. I'm like, yeah, 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 I'm coming. Freaking look. <laughs> Whoa. Well met. I am a magical projection of Gale of Waterdeep. And if you see this manifestation, that means I have prematurely perished. Oh. However, for reasons that cannot be disclosed, it is of vital importance that my death be remedied at your earliest convenience. I. You may rest assured that I do not speak out of self-preservation alone. Many lives depend on my return to the living within the span of two days. I trust I've made myself clear. No, you haven't at all. How, why do so many lives depend on you returning to the living? That will be covered by the for reasons that cannot be disclosed clause. So let's move on. Hmm. I have upon my deceased person <laughs> a magical item that can accomplish my return. But such is the value and rarity that it is protected by a multi-layered security protocol. I mean, I have one too. I will now explain the protocol. Huh. Step one. The guys in the back. From my person, a pouch I wear over my heart. Next, you must unthread the purple seam that seals it in a counterclockwise fashion. Do not touch any other colored Purple strand. counterclockwise. Inside the pouch, you will find a folded letter and a tiny flute. Unfold the letter and note the markings in the top and bottom corner. This is too complicated. These are the notes you will need to play. Starting from the bottom right. Play the notes in correct order, clockwise this time. Upon completion of the tune, a magma method will appear, which will pose the following question. Iskcha Chisnaga. This is Ignan for what is my name? The answer is Kasitrak Ash. Pronounce the name correctly, and the method will breathe on the letter. Stay clear, because the little scamp can melt metal. Words will now appear on the letter's surface, effectively turning the letter into a scroll of true resurrection. Use it to bring me back to life. Can't I just use a revivify scroll on you? Fine, I promise I will do so. Excellent. Now repeat my instructions back to me, please. Um... Uh... I got it. Seems, notes, names, the lot. In that case, this will be an easy exercise. Step one. Hmm. Retrieve the pouch. And next. I unthread the purple seam in a counterclockwise fashion. Right. You then have access to the letter and the flute. Go on. 
I was, you know, before this happened, like right before, I looked over and saw Gail just laying there, and I was literally, I was in the, I was in the first word of being like, look at Gail, he looks so silly being dead over there, and then all of a sudden it was like cutscene, and I was like, oh jeez, and these two are awake, even though they shouldn't be, they should be definitely, and they're all beat up. When I was playing with my friend last night, I noticed that at, at camp, Asterion was pretty unlike healthy, pretty beat up. Um, like low health and it like showed on his face and I was like oh dang uh, I should play the notes starting at the bottom right corner remember to play them clockwise okay and after that uh, I did not keep track of the name I think it's this one track that's not even close <laughs> it's Kasi Trach Ash okay and pay attention to the track part Back of the throat. <laughs> and so we've gone through the necessary steps again. Let's hope practice makes perfect in the end. These two look very Best unimpressed. Good luck with the protocol. May my cold, dead hands soon be refilled with the warmth of life so they can shake yours in gratitude. I look very unimpressed by all of this. <sighs> okay, um. Oh, so Gale, like, died, died, died. But I can... He's incapacitated and unconscious. Okay. Oh, wait a second! So these two didn't... They failed their saves? Oh, no! I'm gonna have to get Asterion brought back. Oh, no, I didn't realize... I didn't realize. Uh. Oh my gosh. Oh, well, at least Gail has a way to bring him back. Asterion, am I gonna have to... Dang, Nabbit. You know, this kind of works out because I needed the space and I was actually gonna kick Asterion back to the camp so I could make space for Carla. <laughs> <laughs> but like, I didn't want him to die. <laughs> okay, but I am supposed to loot. Uh-oh. Uh. Where's the pouchy? Okay, ah, no, okay, turn it off, turn it off. Ow, ow, ow. I don't, I don't need that from you. Um, do I have... Okay. Ow, 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 ow. Um, I don't... Where are my stuff? I can't. I can't keep track. There's poison everywhere and I don't have a way to get rid of it. Oh. Seems like a good moment to talk. Okay, quick. Can I throw a poke? Can I throw a thing at you? That's not what I wanted to do. I can't. There's no point in bringing him back. There's just poison here. When will that go away? Gail's pouch. Oh my gosh, they all died. I can't. Okay, no. Uh-uh. No. No. Mm-mm. I don't. I can't. I don't want to deal with that. I don't want to deal with that. Okay, I successfully kept... Will alive by separating him from me. I guess I could have gone stealth through it, but um, think now, yeah. Um, oh, is that what the issue is? Gale's exuding necrotic energy. I was like, I don't remember using acid over here. Like, I used acid over here, but okay. He didn't mention that. He needs to add that to his little disclaimer VI uh, program. Um, Let's see. So I picked it up. This is actually really interesting. <laughs> okay. The pouch is sealed with differently colored strands of thread. Oh, geez, gross. Pull the purple thread and I can... Oh, you could just like pull them crazy willy-nilly. I didn't loot any of the bodies. I don't know if that's a bad idea, but I just want them to keep their stuff on them. I don't want it. Maybe I should have looked closer at his, uh, his body. Pull the purple thread in a counterclockwise As fashion. The purple thread becomes undone. The pouch opens to reveal a letter and flute inside. 
Okay. Read. In the bottom, we want the bottom right is D, and we're supposed to play it counterclockwise. So D, E, A, D. Dead. D E A D. Dead. Oh, that's that's funny. Okay. Um, equip. Oh. This is the flute Gale kept on his person. This is fun. A faint magical aura envelops its wooden surface. Try to play a little ditty. Oh no! I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna play with a magical flute. The flute awaits with bated breath. <laughs> okay, a D. How would he know that I could play these these notes, these instruments? You know, play an E. A. Flies everywhere in this room. And a D. The flies add to the ambiance of all the viscera around in the game. Not in the real world. <laughs> oh god, now it's the name. Yeah, that's a that's a good Ga. It ends in ash. Hand over Gail's letter. I was supposed to keep my hand clear. Oh, interesting. I'm inspired. The sage reanimator in me, the sage in me, finds that fascinating, apparently. Okay, now I have a scroll revivify, and I could use it on him or a Starian. Wouldn't that be interesting? Wouldn't that be mean? Um... Now I'm not, hmm. Scroll of True Resurrection. Can I just, can I use my revive one? I think I have a regular revive one. Come on, come, come further away. Oh geez, come further away. You, you stay away. You, away. Me, I go forward. Shouldn't have wished to live in more interesting times. I'm wasting health potions right and left, but I don't. Um, maybe I put that into my custom. Mm, mm, I wonder if because they're close enough I can get both? Probably not. This one. Yeah, uh, yeah, Gail. What's up? My word, you did it! <laughs> oh, it's good to be alive. My hands are still cold, so that handshake will have to wait, but in the meantime... Thank it's you. It's also difficult to animate handshakes. Um, and you're welcome. And welcome back. Oh. It's a relief to be back on beautiful Faerun. The dreariness of the fugue plane oppresses one's soul so very quickly. That said, I assume you have some questions for me. I'm thinking- Will you- be fair to warn you, I have precious few answers to spare. Why? I apologize if that sounds thankless. It's just that some secrets simply cannot be revealed. <sighs> Persuasion. I brought you back to life. A few answers is- Oh. Oh, dang it, uh... Intimidation has a better chance, but... now nah, we'll do this. I hope for the best. It's not too hard to convince him. Well, I could roll a nat 1. That could just ruin everything. That could just... Oh my gosh, yes, please. Oh, praise. Praise, Mistra. Suppose that after all you've done for me, I should be at least a little bit forthcoming. Yes, please. Tell you what, 
I will answer one question oh. that you may have. Perfect, perfect to one. To the best of my ability. Yeah, 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 yeah. If I can. If I can. I actually really do like him a lot. Um... I simply want to know what it is you're keeping from me, or why did your projection say that many lives depended on your resurrection? I mean, he's already indicated that, but this feels too vague. Yeah, I think I'll go with something specific, because I feel like a vague question will give me a vague answer. When I told you I need powerful magic to keep my condition under control, I didn't tell you why. Well, here's part of the why. I am dangerous. Not because I want to be, but because of an error I made. Would you say you're explosive, it Anders? Makes me dangerous. Even in death. Yeah, well, you were exuding necrotic. Life, and for that, I am in your debt. But we're surrounded by danger. It could happen again. If it does, bring me back again. You must. For the sake of many. It's nice that he has, uh, apparently. Um, I can't believe us carrying that. Oh, he does have a bunch of stuff on him. Not a bunch, but he has some things. Um, I feel, I feel bad. Hang on, hang on. We will save. Let's see. This is very convenient for me that Gail has his own way to come back. Even if I have to jump through hoops for it, I have to pay money otherwise. But first, I want to go get my wife while I'm over here. <laughs> I'm sorry, it's serious. <laughs> oh boy. Oh, this was a caravan. Let's see what they've got. Food? I can always use that. <gasps> a pumpkin! Half eaten apple, that's gross. Bag of rotten food. I normally wouldn't pick this stuff up, but I really am concerned about not having enough food. Looks empty. For, you know, resting and whatnot. Oh my gosh, is she right over there? We have Will, yeah? Oh wait, I'll, I should level up. I'll level up. Do I have, can I? Did I trigger something? Okay, whew, level up screen. Level four, woo Lay on hands, charge gain an additional charge and I get a new feat. It's my new feat. Oh, I get to pick one. Whoa. I have defensive, what? I have that one. I thought I chose protector. I don't know what they. I don't want that. Get it off. You can use your reaction to add a proficiency bonus to your armor class, possibly causing. So is that like a? It's like a repost almost. Dexterity needs to be higher than thirteen. That ain't gonna happen. Ooh, I like this. Sentinel, when an enemy within melee range attacks an ally, you can use a reaction to make a weapon attack against that enemy. Target ally must not have the sentinel feet. You gain advantage on opportunity attacks, and when you hit a creature with an opportunity attack, it can no longer move for the rest of its turn. I think I might do that, actually. I was gonna look at one of these armored ones, but I like this. No, where'd it go? Sentinel. Uh-huh. Oh, dang it, I didn't check my prepared spells. I'm looking at Scorching Ray or the Gust of Wind. These are evocation spells. Oh, I get two. I'll get those two then. <laughs> those are the new ones. He gets heavily armored. Requires proficiency with... What? Oh no, these are locked out to them. Oh, I see. These are locked out. I see, I see. I thought they were locked in. I was like, that doesn't make any sense. Like, do they just lock you in on something? But yeah, okay, okay, okay. Ah, 
Let's give him alert. Alert is a really good feat. You gain a plus five bonus to initiative and can't be surprised. I was gonna maybe do Warcaster also. You gain advantage on saving throws to maintain a concentration spell. But I don't think his evocation isn't really there's not a ton of concentration, or if there is, it's not like it's a support thing. Whereas support casters I think should have a higher ability to control their concentration. So let's give him alert. I'm not really sure what the warlocky spells are. I'm gonna go ahead and give him Mage Slayer. I don't know, it seems like pretty cool. <laughs> Alright. Can I meet my wife now? Oh, wait, why? Oh, okay. Okay, we just got a hunter down. She's somewhere in here. In this area. What's high? Whatever killed those gnolls might be nearby. Careful. I was gonna say I didn't kill these ones. Don't mind me, la la la. I wonder what is this like a tavern? It looks like it was a nice place. Ew, severed head, gross. Ew, these got eaten. Ew. Potato. Oh, okay. We're auto saving. Thank you, game. Love you for that. Love you for that. I just want some potato. Can I cook in this game? This is really all I can get off these guys is ears. Oh, somebody. Well. I was gonna say somebody went inside, but I actually don't Hurry know. Up. It's worse than gnolls out there. Nothing we need to worry about. How about a dragon? Would that worry you? I'd oh. give it a bloody good fight, that's for sure. <laughs> My wife. Only thing you give a dragon is bad gas. My wife is elsewhere, but there's something in here. Hi, Anders. Who, who's there? Please, keep your distance. You're welcome to shelter here, but we've. Grave injuries to tend to. I was trying to decide if that was in real life or not. But, like, there's, like, really spooky sounds going. Like, it sounds kind of like a cave noise, you know? Who or what attacked you? The devil. The most deadly foe we've yet encountered. We are paladins of Tyr. Oh, Jesus. hey! He sent us after an infernal being, straight out of the Nine Hells, hiding in the form of a one-horned tiefling. She slaughtered countless refugees fleeing the Absolute. Yesterday, she butchered an entire family without mercy. We were lucky to survive our encounter with her. Dang, save failed religion? Um... Now that she's softened you up, I'll finish you off. Oh my gosh. Where is this devil? She ran toward the river when she saw we were merely wounded, not dead. Down the hill from here. That's odd. She must pay for her crimes. If you capture her, you will have served Tyr where we could not. This is the sword of justice. Oh! I've wielded it since I swore my oath. It's all I have. But it's yours if you stop her. Bring me her head. Tear will consider her crimes repaid. I'm hearing like vaguely ominous whisperings. Uh... May the just God guide you. I'll I'll bring you her head. Uh, as far as I know, that's what I should be doing. Okay. Dead toll collector. Ugh, that stench. Thought he must have been here for a good while. A ledger containing the details of the toll houses taking for the current year, 1492. Most entries are neatly written, listing the travelers and the amount of gold, but one on the neck on the text of the most recent pages smudged and ran. But also, she ran away when she saw you guys were wounded, not dead. It's like, mm. That doesn't make any sense. You'd think she'd finish you off if she, you know, could do that, but... 
So there's little things, and if I didn't know who it was, I'd be like, oh no, a devil is running mad around the countryside, but it's my wife, so. Four merchants, Flaming Fist Company, Fist don't pay tolls, they extort. Bruin, two guards, bringing kegs, seven farmers, no goods, no gold, wounded, warned us to leave. Uh, Uktar sent Corey to request extra guards, or relief, uh, more farmers, too many to count, no goods, carrying their own dead. Uktar wrote untenable. Uktar preparing to abandon post. Well, why didn't you, my guy? Okay, there's probably not going to be anything in there. Also, where's Will? Oh, I left Will behind. I'm so sorry, Will. Come. Come back. Can I... Can you come back? Okay. Nope. Why is this... Why is it only letting me do two? Maybe Will is too far? I don't know. I don't care. Lockpicking impossible. Why? Because we didn't... We don't have any lockpick kits. I actually reloaded because I realized I was like surprised that Will hadn't said anything during that whole conversation where they're tracking the devil and I just realized it's because he wasn't there. So I reloaded. I don't actually know if he's going to say anything, but uh, I reloaded just in case because I was trying to bring him back and I was like, oh, well. The most deadly foe we've yet encountered. We are paladins. One horn. Ah. Then you mean Karlak. Arch devil's bootlicker. You know her, which means you know what the fiend is capable of. She slaughtered countless refugees fleeing the absolute. Yesterday, she butchered an entire family without mercy. We were lucky to survive our encounter with her. This could be the work of a devil. Ooh. But they collect souls through cunning. Oh, okay, okay. Okay, so I'm starting to question things. I actually, I'm glad I came back to it because my role was better this time. Um, he doesn't like a devil to use their brawn instead of their brain. So that's a good point, honestly. Indeed. She's a uniquely vicious case. All the more reason she must be stopped. Where is this devil? This is the sword. It's all I have. But it's yours if you stop her. Alright. If she is evil, I would be honor bound to bring him her head. Truly. Ugh. I'll never get used to the stench of death. Let's see, do you have anything to well, say? Nope. Okay. I wasn't sure. I haven't really found anything useful. My friends are like, oh yeah, we're getting all this cool, you know, armor. And I'm like, ooh, a glaive. Who has proficiency? Send to Gale for now. Like, I'm not finding anything cool, really. Most everything I find, my starting gear is better, you know? I hope that by picking up Karlak, we don't leave Asterion in the dust. Okay, we're going... Oh, here's a spot. I was going to say, wait, I should back up in case we perceive anything. Auto save, alright. Can't... Let me break it. What's this? A fire wine barrel, everybody. Hmm. Can I just... Oh, I can. This is not good. Put it down, actually. <laughs> hmm. Yeah, heavily encumbered. Look, we just need to get it out of the way. Drop. But don't, like, actually drop it. Because <laughs> then we'll all blow up. Let's see. Go to the high ground. Uh-oh. 
We failed perception checks. There's probably a trap somewhere. Why is there blood coming out of these? Oh no, that's... Whoa, no! I was like, this is, must be the wine. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh my gosh, what? Why? They died on top of each other. Nope. <laughs> nope. I'm not doing that. I'm not dealing with that. <laughs> I already have one dead companion. <sighs> Maybe I just keep reloading till somebody perceives it. Or I can look around, I, like with my own eyeballs. I think you don't necessarily have to perceive it. It just makes it easier when you perceive it. So I know there's a trap somewhere. I just need to look for it. Oh, I bet you, I mean, I could maybe blow up the wine that's in the, the, that's already in there. Hold on, uh, where is it? Yeah, we're going a little further. You, Gail? Okay, everybody's failing. Run, 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 run. Yay! <laughs> Uh-oh. Okay, I was worried that that was the way. Hang on, hang on, hang on. I can't. Hmm. <gasps> you know, no way. Let me see. Oh, no, it does break everything. I was like, oh, maybe we can stand on top of the, you know, the stuff. But you can't. It breaks it. Hmm. Maybe I leave them far, far back. I leave them far back because I've been able to survive this, whatever is happening. Well, now the issue is... Whether or not... <gasps> oh, yeah! Okay. Perfect. Come, come, everyone. I don't think she's in here, but I'm... This is the problem with games like this. Is they are too interesting. I'm curious if we blew this up, if we would be able to go down further. Find the missing shipment. Port K. We discovered two people trapped in a cave surrounded by a horde of ravenous gnolls. They'll likely die without help. Good luck. You have. Oh, never mind. I'm not going to steal that. Who the hell's. Get over here and help! Why are you just throwing if we don't those? Deal with them nose, none of us are getting out of here alive. I mean, we can go out the back way. Why, why, why? No. There's another. Yeah, the please. Chasm. You might have got in that way, but you're stuck with us now. No, we could just. What? We can go out the other way, you idiot. Oh, that's so dumb. Hold the line while I prepare for battle. Aye. That we can do. The fire won't hold them forever, though. Be quick about it. When the fighting starts, we'll be right alongside you. You better. Mm, I mean, I don't think we've got a good shot, honestly. There's a well. No, no, okay. This isn't what I want to do. 
Well. Yeah, nope. Mm-mm. Nope. 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 Mm-mm. Load game. There is a road. We out. It has been an hour and I have not seen my wife. Apparently we are kind of stuck in here. So I'm gonna actually go back to that point before I was successful in getting in. Not interested. Oh. This is the part where I normally say thank you to my patrons while I'm recording the video, but this is editing squirrel because there was a recent change to patron stuff. Uh, to patron people so i'm paying attention and i'm including that so really quick i want to say thank you to my patrons to every single one of you including the acorns thank you so much adam for your support at the acorn tier patron and thank you so much fane for your support at the acorn tier patron level uh, and i want to give a special shout out to reese galito my sapling tier patron thank you so much for your support you've been supportive for a very long time and i appreciate that and i want to give an extra extra special shout out to Christopher who is my forest tier patron and has gone above and beyond in his support of the channel for a long time now and who is just super supportive and super wonderful and comments all the time I really appreciate you a lot I hope you know that so thank you all again for watching and I hope to see you in the next one